we're speaking about various, termin- various terminologies of cancellation where a person makes an agent to deliver a get. So we said on Ahmed Aleph that if he says a term which is refers to the future in terms of canceling it, it should be this, it should be. Yehei Bateh. It should be nullified. But if he uses the term of the past saying the get was never a get, he says the get is possible. But factually, it's not possible. It's not, not it's, it's valid. So then it's meaningless. That's not a valid cancellation. I mean, there's Tosis here, Tosis and Kedushin. We rule that Dvarm Shabbat Levein and Dvarim. But what a person thinks in his heart, unless it's verbalized and the words can be understood in, in that context, the words mean nothing. The, the intent means nothing. It means nothing. We speak about um, Yodos. There's a famous uh, on the base in Nozir. Nozir says, um, person says, Harini Nozir. person says, I want to be a Nozir. And the Halokha by Nadorim, you have to actually verbalize the nether. If you think it or an oath, it means nothing. Person thinks his mind. I, I, I'm committed. And he thinks he swears, but if he doesn't ver- say the words, he's not bound by the oath. He's not bound by the vow. <coughs> you need niftos vosayim. You need articulation of the lips. You have to articulate the words. That's the halacha. Okay. So the question is, a person wants to make make himself in the nazir. So a person says he wants to be a nazir. What does he say? He says harini nazir. I want to be a nazirite. Let's say a person says, I want to be. And when he says, and he tells the, the Besdin, he says, when I said I want to be, I meant I want to be a Nazir. But he never said the word Nazir. So, the Mephoshim said, it's not we don't believe him. But he says, I want to be, I want to be a Nazir. We believe him. But because he didn't articulate it to be understood, that he wants to be a Nazir, it doesn't mean anything. Because the word Ani doesn't mean Nazir. What about if you have a situation, a person says, Harimi Nozir, and the person was standing by and says, Vani, which means, and also I. Since it's obvious what his intent is, although he didn't say, but it's based on a post, it's called Yodayim, that even though it, he, it's an abbreviation, he didn't say, fully express it, but because since he's linking it to, to a full expression, that's the equivalent of saying, Vani Nozir, Vani. So, but what if it says Ani by itself? Again, it's not that we don't believe him. We believe him. But you have to, you have to say the words. Right? Over here, man says puzzle. The get is puzzle. What is he saying? It's puzzle. He went to the sofa. He knows it wasn't. So clearly, what is his intent? His intent is to cancel it. So we say, but, but since he didn't use the right term, because it's the past, how can he say it was puzzle? It's not puzzle. So what is he saying? This is before it gets delivered. So what is his intent? It should be possible. It should be invalidated, right? But since he used the term that initially it was, which is not correct, then we ignore it. Isn't that like the Ani? Ani is something that is based on the Gzer Sakosov. That's called Yudai Mochichos. No, because that's all by Nozir. That's by Nidorim. The Gzer by. It's Dvarim Shibalev. No. Person he, he just saying. We're by Nozir. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about the Get. No, right. So I'm showing you that even though we know his intent, but since he's not verbal, he's not saying it correctly, we don't, we don't, we don't reckon with it. So that's ca- classified as Dvarm Shabbat Leif. It's something that is... If somebody came and said that this get was... Uh, is, is possible. No, well, let's see who somebody else would say. The get should be Botil. And he says, I want mine also to be. So, okay, he doesn't have to say more than that. That's of course. He's saying this. I'm, I'm just bringing out this point. It's not... That he's not, it doesn't mean anything but what, he, what he's saying he means. But since he didn't say the right word, it, it's considered Dvarm Shabalev. That's the point I'm making. Well, it depends if it was a sin. I'll give you an example. Wait, envy. The person has envy. Envy is negative. But it, how does that have any... No, because there it's a deficiency in you because that's the provision. So the provision. No, the Dharm Shiv is if you want to bring something about, you want to bring it. 
right? You want to activate some, transact something, you have to express it. This has nothing to do with a transaction. Torah says you're not supposed to have envy in your heart. Right? You're not supposed to have envy in your heart. You do have envy in your heart. It has nothing to do with... That is the prohibition. The prohibition is what you have in your heart. You're not supposed to have lewd thoughts. Right? That, that is the prohibition. That, the Torah says that is not permitted. So if that's, that's what's not permitted. It's not permitted. There's no relevance. If I'm sure. A person is, is a heretic. What's a heretic? Does he have to espouse his heresy? His heresy, doesn't it? Yeah. What? He doesn't. Even if he doesn't act on it, a person doesn't believe in God. Doesn't believe the mitzvah is to be mamin. What's what's belief? Belief means believing. So it says. The Rambam says, if a person acts on envy, it's called losachmod. That's called you know we say chamasnu, uh, right? The ches, individui. What's Hamasna? That a person has such envy that he can't control himself, he goes and he says he forces the person to relinquish what he owns and you pay him for it. And the man says, I agree. Because the Mora says that if you first force a person to re- relinquish something and you pay value and he says, Okay, you're a violation of Losachmot. He's called the Hamas, that's Hamas. So but what drove him to that? He couldn't control himself. I mean you go and force a person to relinquish something and you know, and the man really doesn't want. You put him in a situation he had no choice but to say yes. No. That's Los Achmod. What about if it didn't reach that point? The Ram says you're in violation of Los Los It's a different negative commandment. That's the stage before you're so overtaken that you can't control yourself. That's Los Asabe. It's not only it's not only the Dorin. The, the case in, in Kedushin, a person sells his property because he, he plans to move to Eretz He lives, he has a house in Chutz Loretz, and he's selling because he's going to Eretz Yisroh. And that something comes up, and it doesn't work out. But he didn't say that precondition when he sold the house. He loses the house. The Gemara says that's the Gemara should believe. The, no, it's not inserted. It's not. It's not inserted because the Gemara should believe. Okay, we have just two minutes. Over here. Om Rav Sheish is Vamilu B'Masnis and Tono. Either Rav Sheish said it, others say it was stated in the Braisa. Get Zelo Yoel. Person says, this get should not be effective. That's the future. Meaning, although the, although the get is a viable get, it should not be effective. Lo Yatir. This get should not permit it to remarry. Lo Yaziv. Lo Yishalach. It should not be sent. Lo yigaresh, she should not be divorced with it. So we're not questioning the validity of the get. He's the husband saying, just not shoot. Yehi cheres. When he made a shliach. Made a shliach, yes. He, he's on his way. He's on his way. Right. Yehi cheres. It should be the equivalent. It should be the equivalent of cheres. Like a piece of, a shard of pottery. Has no value. It should be that. That statement has, 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 is valid. Eino moil, he says, this get is, is an ineffective get. It's not effective. This get is eino mati. It doesn't have the ability to, to, to allow it to remarry. It's not true. It was written kosher. It was written yeah, in metal. Yeah. So therefore, as a result of that, it's meaningless what he says. Eino maziv, eino mishalech. It's not fit to be sent. Eino begaresh, cheresu. That means initially it was no better than a, a shot of, of pottery. Kecheresu lo maklum. Okay? Now he said, cheres hu. It is, what about it says? Hu cheres. He put the hu before the cheres. Does it mean it should be cheres? Or hu is like the past? That's the most question. Iboilu. Hare cheres mau. He put the hu before the cheres rather than putting the hu after the cheres. The person says he wants to consecrate something. It should be consecrated. So who, if you say Hegdish who, it is Hegdish, so that, and it's not Hegdish, it's not Hegdish. But the who means it should be, who before the word Hegdish, it should be consecrated. So he says, so what's the question? Whatever the who, who precedes the, what you're about to do, that's always future, to be continued.